Hello there, this is Carlo. Welcome to another quick Maya tutorial and tip. Um, this is one based around Bifrost, so we're going to create a little collider. So we're going to have our admitter set up with water coming from it, hitting the surface, and then just basically running down the surface. So we're just going to create um, very quickly a little um, sort of rough simulation nothing special um, so our liquid can react to it so let's um, get creative and for instance let's have another cube in here How about that let's just put that into position like so and let's have Let's select this, let's go to faces. Um, actually, let's go to edge mode. Okay. Um, let's select this edge here and let's just bring this edge sort of like a ramp, even. Uh, like that. And let's create for fun. Um, let's go to wireframe mode so we can see what we're doing. Let's create something in here and let's go up like that and let's go to edge mode and let's select this one and let's bring this one sort of down like so uh, let's go to our shading and uh, let's just go back to oh let's go to object mode select the whole lot let's just bring this sort of into there and maybe just scale this up just a tad just so we can get some sort of reaction uh, you know from the liquid sort of hitting you know the surface so let's just select this one and let's, uh, let's bring this up just a tad doesn't really matter about the bottom want to tidy up I suppose we can sort of flush it up like that and let's select edge mode on that one maybe sort of bring this up here it's just so we can sort of get a reaction from the liquid when it's actually falling so let's go to wireframe mode and let's create something to emit from so we're going to just create a sphere and just bring that up about there sort of change our view and maybe bring that sort of over here let's let's go to about there let's just select that maybe bring this to about here so it can hit and run down so about there let's just go to faces and let's just cut that in half, go back to our full view, change it back to our smooth. Okay, so we've basically got a really sort of small, um, sort of little setup. So hopefully, our water let's, let's just raise this up just slightly so that's a bit higher. Oh, wrong mode. Let's go back to object mode and uh, let's bring that up. So that'll do. So the water's got basically going to come through, come from this hit this run down here and hopefully collect um, in the center here okay so with your object selected we're going to come up to Bifrost and then create a liquid emitter and that's just giving you a little bit of an emitter sort of thing um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to select the whole lot so we've got both our emitter and our stage selected come up to Bifrost and add collider now this is the fun bit when you hit play we should once it builds the emitter builds up hit the surface and run down the surface like so but obviously we want quite a few bit of liquid so it's just going to hit it and sort of run and hopefully as you can see it's sort of coming up the bank here and then sort of like 
working its way down. So let's just wait and let the emitter do what it needs to do. And see how we go. So as you can see, it's sort of hitting the high bit here and it's sort of wanting to come back down. It's not sort of going over the top, which is quite a nice effect if you're creating sort of waterfalls or fountains or things like that. So it's it's sort of quite a useful sort of technique to have. So as you can see, it's sort of hitting, let's just come around here. It's hitting a bank, it's sort of not going over because it's reacting to this part here. But what we can do is if we stop it, let's just make our frames a lot more. So let's go to about 500 and let's just hit play. And let that build up. Just bring this up to 500. Right, and let that because you're going to get a hell of a lot more water when this emit from because we've gone up to 500 frames now, so it's going to take a bit of time to emit from. So let's just try that and see how we get on. Right, so that should go to the end. Right, okay, so we, we're working on 500 frames now. So that's going to go up, as you can see. It's going to admit a hell of a lot more water into it. It's going off the side, obviously, because we've got no edges on the side. But as you can clearly see, the admitter is reacting very nicely to this surface here, which is basically what we want. I'm not too care, I'm not too bothered about the sides just the um, how it's sort of reacting to um, the, the model so if you go to render mode and you have to render it out in Biofrost sorry uh, Mental Ray uh, let's just quickly render that scene now you're gonna see what the basically the liquid looks like as it's hit, hitting um, the surface as you can see So yeah, um, just a very, very quick tip really guys um, on how to create your um, admitter collider. So guys, listen, I hope this has helped. I mean, it should come in useful for creating, um, you know, even showers and things like that, you know, a bathtub or a waterfall or, you know, even a, you know, a reaction from the water to an object when it hits. So um, it's quite a useful sort of tip. It's very basic, but it is worth knowing so i hope this has helped guys as always thanks for listening um and i'll see you in the next tutorial please don't forget to subscribe um and give this a thumbs up it does mean a lot to me um and i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for listening guys take care